That's pursuant to the book of Revelation. You got to understand what you're involved in, man. The scriptures speak about counting the cost. Another term for counting the cost is, is understanding just what the hell you're involved in. Yeah, like you see, like Baloo, you know, he's saying uh, people are leaving GMS left and right. Well, um, uh, Isaiah left, and you can see Isaiah now, his videos, he's, he's bugged out of his mind, man. He's bugged out of his mind. I don't even pay the guy no, no mind, no attention, man. Mike, Ham Mike, Mike, he's bugged out, man. Right. Now he's teaching us. So you went off on that. He's bugged out of his goddamn mind. These dudes are bugged out, man. And um, I, the, the GOCC, they, I mean, they out of there, man. They, they, they're on the planet Zombo some goddamn where. Them, they, this, this crap that they're teaching, man, is outrageous, man. And how can other Israelite groups actually get with you guys are all messed up, man. You guys are all messed up. And every, and every and most of y'all hate us, man. Then the reason why we hate you, you 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 hate us is because we rebuke. We might not mention your name, but we'll go into something that cuts what you're teaching. And you hate us for it. Man. Hate us for that. Yeah, which which we don't give a shit. Come All right, uh, the, this tr is, um, the, a true prophet, yeah, a true prophet of the Lord, the Harbor Shemi Hashem, will be more hated than he would be loved. And the greatest example is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was more hated than he was loved. All right, uh, this is Amos chapter 5, verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. You know, that's pretty much self explanatory. You know, and that's why, you know, they hate somebody that, that uh, actually, which is a great millstone, would act, which actually um, rebukes them, you know. Other other groups, they just they just allow you to just keep going on with your wickedness, you know. And, and that's why, y'all, you, you know, you, you, you can buddy, but, you know, you can buddy up with them because they're not going to uh, check you on uh, when you when you're going off. Uh, this is. Um, Isaiah chapter 29 verse 21 that make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of naught so you lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate that's why that that devil uh poor light you know he he tried to get those uh uh um the bloods and the crypts to come against us you know cuz it says um it says uh that and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate cuz he was reproved and he didn't like that you know, so that's that's what uh, uh, devils do. You know, just like they try to get that band of forty uh, misfits to come up against uh, uh, the apostle Paul to to kill him, and they took an oath not to eat or drink or anything until they killed him, because they hated him. Because why? Because he reproved in, in the gate. Because he spoke truth. That's right. And uh, you know, if you speak truth, you're going to be hated. Uh, this is the book of Luke six and twenty two. It says, "Blessed are ye when men shall hate you." And when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil. That's, that's what they do, man. They put our names. They're so evil. They put our, our so-called government names out there. And tell me that if that isn't wicked. And they, they cast our name as evil. They say that we're rapists. We rape little babies. <laughs> shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. And all this is for Yahweh Shai's sake. I had another quick precept. Uh, it's the book of Galatians, chapter 1, verse 10. It says, For do I not, <clears throat> for do I not persuade men or the Most High? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> So that's what Paul said. We're not out here to seek please men. We're, we're out here to please the most high. Because Tazaria, you, you said you made a response when that, that grimy street frog asked you about it. And we know you was talking about us. You said, who, who respects them? Nobody respect. Who respects them? First of all, nigga, we, don't, we ain't looking for the respect of, of men. You know, I'm going to read it again. Galatians 1 and 10. And this is what the apostle Paul said. He said, for do I now persuade men or the most high? Or do I seek to please men? Because that's what you niggas are doing. You're a bunch of men pleasers. That's why you sit there and change up 
the doctrine and make this new uh, friendly Israelite doctrine. All right. When the scriptures, the most I get all over the black woman, you're going to sit up there and say, we ain't supposed to say nothing bad about the black woman. The scriptures, the most I get all over this, this black woman. All right. The Lord, the Lord uh, said he's about to come and destroy America. You sitting up there teaching, talking about you're going to become old in this kingdom, man. I, I want to, when I get old, I want to be, I, I want people to have respect for, nigga, what the fuck you mean when you get old, man? This is not our rest, man. So that's why the most high is going to, like the apostle said, all right, the apostle to us said, the Lord is going to destroy that whole function, that whole ISUPK function. He's going to destroy it, man, because you niggas are proud as hell. The, the Lord ain't dealing with you, all right? You got the, you got the world behind you. You got Sarnetta backing you, but you don't got the most high backing you. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? All right. I said something quick. I got a scripture. <clears throat> got a, another precept, which goes along with everything that we're saying right now. And uh, you guys are proud. I mean, I came in, and the Apostle Taha and the other apostles were talking about One West. You guys are in the same spirit as Old One West. And that's how stupid you are. You, That's how stupid you guys are. You guys are in the same spirit as the Old One West. You're proud as hell. And the most high. Y'all say, well, that's not going to happen. You niggas is talking. Listen, man, the old one west was destroyed. The most high did away with it, man. The, the, to the point where um, the building is not even there no more. For you old guys that was there, for you guys that was in the old one west along with us, drive up 125th, man. Drive right up 125th where the school used to be. One, uh, uh, between, yeah, I'll uh, do it right now. Yeah, we'll do it. And I, Well, I ain't got my camera with me. I'm going to do that and film it. And I may do a sit down on that myself. The, the building ain't there no more. Nope. Man, that whole strip is totally different. But the one thing that's missing, that uh, space is still empty, but I think they just now starting to build something there. They're going to do something with that property, right? But for like the past few years now, since that building got taken down, there was nothing there. And you, know, you can still see the beams uh, partway coming out the ground of where the old foundation of where that old building, One West, used to be. The Most High was so angry, he got rid of the whole building and dispersed the occupants, man, meaning we were all occupants of that building, right? Us, uh, General Yohanna, Nate and all, and so on and so forth, Comfy and them guys, and the Most High has dispersed it, man, because he got, that's how wicked that damn school was. Now, you had some righteousness there because that's where the truth was coming forth. The truth was there. That was the building that we came in through, man. Myself, Apostle Taha, and the rest of us. So we're not going to sit here and totally say um, that was a satanic place. It wasn't. It was a righteous place. At one time, right, in the early stages of it, the Most High was dealing with the school. The Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, was dealing with King Masha. Well, let, let me go back uh, the proper order. Uh, Abba Bivens, man. The Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, was dealing with Abba, man. And in that building, in that school, you felt the presence of the Lord. Then Abba passed the torch to Masha and Arya, High Priest Yaquab, so on and so forth. Then them other guys, Lahab, Yeshaya, they all came in and all that. And then Apostle Taha and then the other guys came in. And the Spirit was dealing with the school. The truth was there. That's when we found out that we were Israelites, Right? And uh, we were going out on the camps and speaking and all that. But then when the school got real big. In all types of weather. In all types of weather. You gotta mention that. That's right. Because look, man, I myself came into, came into the truth in uh, 1990. Late, late 1990 er, and early 1991, man. I actually came to the school. It was still 1990. Okay, like November of 1990 is when I first came up to the school. So the new year, the, you know, the so-called Christmas was coming in, and then uh, I, I was already in the camp. By the time the new year came in, I was in the camp. So I came into school around l late November, early December uh, 1990. Because I turned, I was 17 years old when I came to the school in 1990, December of 1990. And then like a few weeks or a month or so later, boom, I turned 18. <laughs> you know, then the new year came in. The so-called New Year. What? You know what I mean? I came to the school. When I came to the school, I was in the Brooklyn camp out in Fulton and Hoyt, down there in front of the Conway Shoes, Yashawana Barack. But I came to the school, and when I came to the school, 
One of the first brothers I met was this man sitting right here, uh, Apostle Gabar. He was and he was in General Johanna's camp when I first met him, and then he ended up in Apostle Taha's camp, and then I and, and uh, Apostle Taha, I met him early on in the truth too. Well, he was already one of the top men in this thing. I was just a new guy coming in. I was out in Brooklyn, Fulton and Hoyt camp. But at that time, little did I know that um, Apostle Taha, through the spirit of the Lord, had.